Hi guys, happy Friday. I am <laughs> in the boutique today and you will see and hear that the wind is going absolutely berserk. Um, we are in the city of Rialto today in front of Jama Juice and we are just um, going to be here for the next few hours. But of course we have a lot of downtime. We haven't had a single customer today. Um, had a lady that said she was going to come back, but she didn't. So <laughs> entrepreneurship, right? Uh, give me one second. Let me pick up my sign that just fell because the wind blew it down. Hold that thought. Yeah, so stuff is blowing everywhere and we're here. So, you know, I want to take this opportunity to just talk. You know, when we have downtime in the boutique, I like to share my experiences and um, just entrepreneurship because it's glamorized all over social media. It, entrepreneurship is glamorized, especially since the pandemic where everyone's really tapping into their, their talents and their skills. Um, there are a lot of people that are glamorizing um, entrepreneurship and it has its highs and its lows. I will never not tell you. It's the most exhilarating, fun, adventurous thing I've ever probably done in my life. And I've done some pretty adventurous things, but <laughs> um, entrepreneurship takes the cake. So um, what I'd like to say today, the thoughts that I would like to you know, put into the universe um, for whomever can benefit from them is uh, you are gonna have your good days and you're gonna have your bad. And I know that's kind of cliche to say because everyone says it just in life, you know, just being existing, you're going to have your good days and your bad. However, I keep telling myself over and over, if it were easy, everyone would be doing it. And I mean that. No, literally, everyone would be doing it if it were easy. If you could just go start a business and make, you know, um, six figures within the first year, everyone would do it. But it's not easy. And it's very risky um, because you don't know. You don't know if it's going to work out or not. Turn my jazz down. You have no idea if this thing called entrepreneurship is going to work out. So you kind of just roll the dice. You put your gifts, your talents, your goals into the universe. And if you're a spiritual person like myself, I pray. Prayer is my foundation. Um, before I go out to an event, I pray and I ask God to bring me my customers. I ask God to um, give me the spirit that I need to have so that, you know, um, they will uh, find a liking, find favor with my business and become uh, loyal customers for life. I pray those things. Um, for someone that isn't spiritual minded, I'm not going to lie. I have no idea what to tell you because prayer is everything. God is everything to my business. And I understand that. So for someone who does not believe or um, has some alternative belief, I don't know. I guess you'll have to figure that out because for me, it's just prayer. It's God. I understand that what's impossible with man is possible with him. So that's my my cornerstone that's my foundation is just praying I, of course i'm gonna gonna work because faith without works is dead right so i'm gonna come out here um even when the cars are passing but no one's coming in i'm here and the lord knows that i'm here and i know that he will send who needs to who needs to come um i just have to show up you know if i have a spirit of well i know nobody's gonna come because they didn't come last time then he's gonna feed off my energy by he, I mean God. He's going to feed off my energy. He's going to match my effort. Okay, well, if you don't have enough faith to put your, go out there, open your boutique and put your gift into the world, then I'm not going to, I'm not going to move. So, um, I understand that. I understand my assignment. <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, your highs, your lows, your good days, your bad days. I've had days where I've darn near sold out and it is the best feeling ever. And I've had days where I didn't sell anything. I'm here right now and I haven't had one single customer um, or any online sales might I add. Um, so, but I'm here and you know, I'm going to um, be here and see what the day holds. And I'll be out again tomorrow because I believe in what I'm putting into the universe. I, I put my heart into whiffs on wheels. And I trust that if I'm consistent and if I'm loyal to the soil, then I'll eventually reap the benefits. I'll be able to reap the benefits, but I'll never ever be able to reap any benefit if I um, just give up um, customers passing by. So I always like to smile. That's another thing off topic. I like to always smile when customers are passing. 90% of them don't smile back, but I live in California. So, you know, I'm from the South. We smile, we say hi, but you know, as Californians, um, 
we don't do that <laughs> in fact we look at you crazy if, if anyway that's a whole other story for another day but um, yeah just if you are an entrepreneur and you, you do watch my videos you know and you um, are looking for any advice stay consistent stay loyal in season and out whether you have one customer or no customers or 75 customers stay loyal because if it were easy everyone would be doing it and it's not that's why people most businesses fail within the first couple of years of being in business and it's simply because when it gets hard people quit they go back to to what's comfortable for them be whatever it may corporate america um you know whatever it is they do what they feel they need to do but as for you know those of us that stick it out i don't know it's an adventure of a lifetime right um it's an adventure of a lifetime and we never know how it's going to end but we just be optimistic and keep going right so that's my pep talk for the day um if we do have some customers i will update you and let you know but even if we don't we're thankful that we get to um, follow our dreams because a lot of people don't get to do that they don't get to follow their dreams for whatever reason maybe they don't maybe um the timing is an issue maybe you know um just kids are an issue maybe they're just not able to follow their dreams to the fullest and because i am i'm so thankful i look at the positive um i could cry about no customers or i can rejoice over the fact that i am following my dreams and you have people that make six figures that hate their life so it's not all about money but it is about you being overall happy with with what what you're doing and I have created this little place and I'm happy about that. So with that being said, I'll quit rambling and let you guys have a beautiful, lovely rest of your Friday. And if you're in Southern California, be careful because these winds are no joke.